Hey family, hey friends, mi gente. It's Melissa Q, welcome back to my channel. And today's video is a little bit different. I've always said that I wanted my channel to be more than just makeup. So in today's video, I am merging the two and we are talking about a different type of declutter. This declutter has emotional ties to it. And let me just say that if you are going through any type of situation in your life and you're holding on to things that that's kind of got you stuck or it's blocking you from moving forward i hope this video encourages you to take a few steps to move in the right direction and getting some things organized in your life i know that i've talked about in the past that my daughter um Brooklyn passed away and I've done a couple of videos on it. I think this this is just a touchy subject, but definitely I believe that and I've actually talked to a couple of my friends here on YouTube and definitely I feel like emotional ties are connected to tangible things when we go through thing go through situations. There are those sentimental items that we keep in our collection, but there's also those things that we keep due to emotional trauma and in my situation it had more to do with emotional trauma i held on to things and in the hopes of i didn't really know until i started like really praying about it and i was like why am i holding on to things that number one expires number two i don't use and it was just in a place where i've tried to replace those things with how I felt that's just like retail therapy I talked about retail therapy and how I did, really didn't want to use that word anymore because I feel like that it was an excuse for me to purchase items and not deal with issues so I know we use that term but that just that's just something that I really don't want to associate with purchasing items I want to purchase them because I like them and not because an emotional tie is attached to it where I can't get rid of it if it doesn't work for me I hope that makes sense let me just say that I want to give a special thanks to my girl Kay over at organize the organized soprano I thank you so much girl I really appreciate your help there was like no judgment. I told her what I wanted to do and she's a professional organizer. I don't know if you guys know that, but definitely check out her video. What made me fall in love with her, she did a video talking about how like she was decluttering her makeup collection, but she was talking about how products expires and she kept saying it. I'm going to link the video down below. I just came across, it was in my recommends, um, scrolled onto the right of my screen and I clicked on it and y'all, I watched that maybe 10 times, maybe more than that. But I reached out to her and she's so bubbly. I love her personality, but she definitely helped me in terms of, I said, can you help me? So my tip to you guys, if you're having an issue with letting go and you know that you need to, be okay with getting help. That is something that definitely, it's hard to do. But in tip number two, you have to trust the person. So they have to gain your trust. I don't know when, like I opened my heart to just reaching out to her and I think it was it just wasn't me watching that video it was watching others and then she talked about how she helped a lot of people getting past things when she helped declutter and the personal connection that she would get with you know her clients and I think that really opened up the avenue for me to ask for help for her uh, from her I wanted to talk about the emotional ties that we have to tangible things and I thought that you know this is spring cleaning what better time to start doing some cleaning like on the inside as well as to your tangible items being okay with letting them go and getting some help I don't feel like I was really ready to do this by myself but she definitely came with like a personality no judgment wasn't pushy and you know what I will say this and I think this is what the fear of like getting help it you know incorporates is that sometimes you feel like that the person 
you're gonna lose yourself in letting go of things and y'all I feel like a weight has been lifted I'm not gonna cry no <laughs> I'm not gonna cry um I feel like in order to embrace my children the children that I have now my two beautiful sons my family my husband you know I, there are so many other possibilities but I can't stay stuck in this place and it's time for me to journey on you know I was stuck I was depressed I felt bad I would look at this uh, makeup collection and it brought me kind of down And here comes the culprit. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Here's the culprit. You want to see? Say hi. Guys. Hi. <laughs> Can you give me a kiss? No, you give me a kiss. <coughs> Cover your mouth. Okay. Okay, so go out and no, finish no. watching it, okay? okay? Mommy has to finish, okay? so okay. let's go oh i'm back okay okay so what was i talking about so i know the pain of losing a child it might be a loved one it doesn't necessarily have to be a child but we know that emotional ties have to do with tangible things because there have been plenty of people who have left a room the same way that the, when the child passed away and it's years later you know the child would have been 25, 30, 35, and the room looks like a six-year-old lived in it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying sometimes in order to move on, you're not going to forget. You're not going to forget. That was too much of an important part of your life. Brooklyn was too much of an important part of my life to forget her. And it should not be associated with my makeup. It shouldn't be except associated with anything that is uh, making me stuck you know what I mean she brought so much joy and honestly if it wasn't for her and the condition that I had with her there's no way I would have been able to have my two sons so I see it as her being a gift to me even in those three hours that she lived I learned about a condition that I had that made me move on and I can't associate her with this you know so this is just something i know this is the sentimental part but if you definitely want to check out the declutter and what Kay brings it was a virtual one i'm here in la she's in boston and i trusted her with my things that you know made me move on and honestly you guys i want to show you not only like how my makeup collection is here and i almost feel like you know what it's the start of like really utilizing what i love but i'm noticing like i use less i use less and the new me doesn't need as much which makes sense because i'm lifted i don't need everything that i had over here so i'm going to show you not only my latest my makeup collection as of current but i'm also going to show you guys the things that i have decluttered i've already like trashed everything that's expired but i also have some things i do have a poshmark and i'm going to put some things on poshmark i have two bags worth of stuff y'all two bags things that were gently used newly used in boxes and unused seriously so that like when i say two bags i'm gonna show you guys let me cut to it and show you guys really quick so yeah I had all that stuff in my makeup collection that definitely can somebody else can get some love and you know what for it to be a part of your life whoever gets it I hope that it comes with thoughts prayers and blessings to you I hope that it is something that you definitely can use in your makeup collection but I you know what I just wanted to share with you guys what my feelings were in this declutter it's a definitely a soul field <laughs> declutter it was a different one for me <sighs> constant interruptions but that's the joy of being a mom I hope you guys enjoy my channel and don't forget to check out Kay over at the organized soprano I think you would love her channel thanks so much for watching you guys I'll see you in the next one bye me familia